Hello there. A while ago I recorded a video on how to host a static website on AWS Amplify. In that video we looked at hosting a React application on the Amplify uh, service. Now AWS has many ways of hosting static websites and one of those is S3 and that is what I want to look at in this video. In this video, we're going to do a few things. I've listed them out in the README file on the left hand side. Um, we are going to generate a React application. Actually, I have already generated one by using npx create React app. And then you can give it a name for your application. We're going to create an S3 bucket. We're going to change some of the properties and the permissions of this bucket in order to for people to see and interact with your website. And then we're going to copy over the, the files um, that we're going to build out in React to this S3 bucket. And we're also going to look at how we can automatically do that by using the uh, AWS CLI. And we're going to use um, a part of the, that is called the S3 sync. And that allows you to sync directories with S3 buckets. Okay, so the first thing that we have here is generate a React application. I have already generated one uh, because um, otherwise you had to look at me generating a React application and sometimes that can take a while. Um, let's now go over to create a React bucket. The Actually the React application that I have is now running on localhost 3000 and you can see it's just the bare bones React. Okay, So we're now going to create an S3 bucket and change some of the properties. So S3 allows you to store basically any data in any format and people can then interact with it. Um, the key with S3 is that you can have your data um, publicly available or basically non-publicly available. And in order for a website to be, um, for people to visit the website, we need to make sure that it's publicly available. So we're gonna create a bucket and this needs to be a unique name. Um, so. I'm just going to call this um, React Andre AWS um, Hosting. Hopefully that name is not taken yet. Um, we can go to a particular region. Let me copy that actually. Uh, we want to untick block all public access. Um, otherwise, we won't be able to give uh, public access to our bucket. Um, yes, I acknowledge that this might result in objects becoming public uh, for a website. That is obviously what we want to do. We want to make it public and there's nothing else in this side that we want to do. We want to now hit create bucket. Now it's going to load the bucket and uh, we can see that we now have this bucket. It's uh, React Andre AWS hosting. Uh, there is nothing in this bucket. Okay, and what we first need to do as if we go to the to-do list again, we need to change the properties to allow static website hosting. So if we go to properties, we can see we have all of these uh, individual properties and the one that we want to select is this static website hosting. Um, now it's going to give us the endpoint, which is great, um, but also uh, we need to take this, use this website, to, uh, use this bucket to host a website. And what is the index document? Well, we're going to build out the React application that it's a static website. And in the build folder, we have the index.html. Uh, there is not really an error, so um, it's fine to just do error.html. And then we're gonna say uh, save. So now we can see the bucket has been ticked. It's for hosting. Now there's another step that we need to take here, and that is change the permissions on the individual bucket. So if we go up to permissions, uh, we can see it now um, block public access, but we need to actually go to the uh, bucket policy and we need to add a policy. And if we scroll down um, and I'll add the policy in the, um, the video description, we need to basically copy this policy, which tells AWS that um, here you can see that allow public read access, which is the um, particular kind of method that you give access to allow um, on all and get object. And then we need to put the name of the bucket here as well. So we can grab that from over here and replace that. So that's important that there is a um, thing there. 
So let me check. Yep, yeah, there we go. And paste that in. So let's hit save. Next step, we can see that now the bucket has public access. Um, we can go to overview, but there is nothing in our bucket. So we now need to generate our React application. So um, in here, in uh, the folder, I'm in Visual Studio Code. I now need to um, build out the application. So in order to do that, I'm going to use yarn. You can also use npm. I'm going to do yarn build. And what that will do, it will actually, let's go back to Visual Studio Code. It will create a, um, and it builds and it goes to the build folder. So if we open that, you can see there's now a build folder. And this is the whole application here. And now we can, basically, we can drag and drop this into the S3 bucket. So if I open up um, my finder, let me put it over here on the other screen. And we're going to drag the, um, we have here the folder and in there we now have built. You can't see this is on the other screen. And I'm just going to grab that and drag it into the bucket. And we're going to hit upload. This is fairly quick because it's um, a really small um, application. And now if we click on index.html, click on the object URL, we will now see that we're hosting this in our S3 bucket. So that's great. This is the React application in here. However, this is very manual because I had to manually drag from my finder into the S3 bucket. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify the, um, the package.json file in the React application. So if we go to package.json, and what we want to do here is we have all of these scripts that you run with npm or with yarn. So I just run yarn uh, build, but we can also add one for deploy. And what we're going to do here is we're going to say AWS. So it's using the AWS CLI. So that one needs to be installed. AWS um, CLI and then S3 and then the sync um, option which allows you to sync directories with uh, an S3 bucket. So you first need to give it a directory that you want to sync. In our case, that's build. So everything that's in build. And that needs to sync with an S3 bucket. So um, typically you identify S3 buckets with S3, um, colon forward slash, forward slash, and then the name of your S3 bucket, um, which we can actually grab uh, from the URL here and put in there. Um, now this, if you have your credentials um, in on your computer and it's set up as the default user, then you can just run this. However, I have a different profile that I'm using. Um, I have many profiles and one of them is this one. You don't necessarily need this if you have the default profile, otherwise you can add the profile. And these have your keys and your secrets in it. Okay, so if I hit save in the package.json, um, now what I'll do is let's make a change in the React application so we can actually see that it updates. Um, here we can see, for example, this edit the um, JavaScript file and save to reload. So we're going to just change this and say, uh, welcome to S3 static site hosting. Okay. And now you can see the local application actually already changed, but that's on localhost. Uh, now we want this one, which is on S3 also to change. So what we're going to do is we're going to do yarn build. And we want to follow that by yarn deploy. So it will first build out the um, application again. Then it will basically push it up to S3 and you can see it has done the upload, 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 and it syncs that with that build script. So now if I refresh this page, we will see that we now have welcome to S3 static site hosting. And this means that anytime you do yarn build and yarn deploy, or you do npm um, run um, build or npm run deploy, then it will build out your React application and publish this to S3. 
So in this video, we have enabled um, the public um, access and this allows you to host static websites on S3. Thank you for watching this video and um, hopefully you'll also enjoy the other videos that are linked over here.